All right, so this is the stream table. Uh, we're set up with a couple curves or meanders. Curves are called meanders in the stream. Notice right now that down here in the ocean, when we hit the ocean, there's really nothing there yet. There's a little bit of water, but nothing, no big deal. So we're going to put some food coloring in, and what I want you to notice is that the food coloring kind of moves towards the outside of the curves. It moves to the outside of the curve here, outside of the curve here. That is where I have my fastest stream velocity, where my, the fastest water is really flowing. You can see it go from this outside of the curve and move over here to the outside here. We'll do one more. There it goes. So the point we're trying to get across is that the fastest velocity water is on the outside of the curves or the meanders in the stream. So we have a close-up on a curve here. What you notice again is that the fastest moving water is here at the outside of the curve. That's where we have an erosion. We see that piece just slumped right in. And then the slow moving water is at the inside of the curve. When we get deposition, we're putting particles down there. We're building up the actual stream bed down there because that's where the slower moving water is. So we've put a large rock in the stream, and what it's doing is it's slowing down the water right behind the rock. Uh, if you're real close up on it, you can see a sandbar starting to form. What that is, is that's de deposition happening with that slow-moving water. We're getting a shallow area of the stream because we're depositing onto the stream bottom. So we had fast-moving stream that we were able to carry sediments. When it hits the ocean, we get the deposition of a delta. The water slows down. It's got to drop whatever it's carrying, and we get this landform here, which we call a river delta.